lower and command spunk on the week also just coming off just a little bit so I just wanted to show you these these levels because we can it's very easy just to kind of throw out things we can talk about things in in big terms off oh, the markets are seeing losses etc etc and they are they have been but nevertheless the FTSE and the SMI is still closing in positive territory on a five-day basis Gemma Gottfried is head of research at Credo Capital and joins us uh, here in the studio as our guest host for the end of the uh, the program. I say joins us, joins joins me really, <laughs> unless there are, there are some very small people down here I can't see. But Gemma, um, we all know what's been going on this week. The volatility is unprecedented. Um, what do you think people should be thinking about in terms of, of positioning and how should you be going into a fresh start next week? Should you be thinking about closing out positions? Should you sit tight? What are we waiting for? Mm. Well, I wouldn't recommend any knee-jerk reactions. So ideally, you're, you're meant to have a longer-term time horizon, which means that you'll hopefully be able to um, handle this amount of volatility and use pullbacks in the market to add to positions or invest opportunistically. But remain quite defensive um, until these, the, the, the problems actually uh, dissipate. But the problems at the moment in the European markets are based on the fact that there's lack of clarity and there's lack of a long-term solution. That long-term solution is being discussed a lot. Uh, yeah. and, and it's a question of whether the policymakers can do something to, to stem the volatility that we're seeing and whether they should be doing anything or whether it's down to each country and, mm -hmm. and their rules and regulations and governments and uh, aid to the banks, for example, if, if, if that's the case. Um, we, we have a lot of viewers writing in asking about whether or not this time is going to be different. Um, Mendel's Nun has found me on, on Twitter and says uh, it, it's different this time, isn't it? With, with bubbles and bursts, kind of sarcastically as far as I'm, I, can, I can tell. I mean, the, the whole point about whether it's different or whether it's exactly the same as before, you've got to look at where we are in uh, to do with the, the European sovereign debt crisis. And actually, things are getting a lot worse. Uh, you know, now there's a lot of uh, rumors around, obviously, about France potentially being downgraded and, and Italy as well. And the problem is, yes, we've seen Greece, yes, we've seen Portugal being um, bailed out. But even after the ECB has increased their, um, their fund, they wouldn't be able to bail out Italy and Spain. No. So which is why the ECB is acting as a stopgap mm. in between and buying bonds, as we've seen in the market uh, uh, this week. Uh, does that make a difference, the ECB support? Should the ECB have not been supporting the markets by buying bonds this week? What it's trying to do is use debt to solve a problem of debt. And it's short-term stimulus, it's short-term solutions, and you've still got, and it's actually making the situation worse as we go forward, because such a focus on the debt burden, what's happening is um, people are actually asking for higher interest on actually lending to these governments, which means the debt burden is actually increasing, and austerity does not equal, does not foster growth. Yeah. So you're seeing the debt burden increase, and on the bottom, um, you're seeing that GDP is kind of going nowhere, which means that the ratios are getting worse, and the problem's actually getting worse longer term. Okay. Gemma, I'm going to take many, many more viewer questions, uh, both on email or on uh, Twitter, so keep them coming through. European Closing Bell at CNBC.com is where you can find me, or on Twitter, at Louise at Boyerson. You can find Andrea in Italy because Italy's Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi is calling an emergency cabinet meeting this evening to speed up the approval of measures to deal with the escalating financial and the economic crisis and Andrea he is in Milan and he is looking uh, forward to what we can anticipate from this meeting